Hi, this is Brandy from Acer Service. Some of our new units are shipping with multi-touch touchpads, and I wanted to take a moment to show you how you can adjust settings and gestures for the ELAN-specific models. To get to the settings menu, just click the start button and in the search field, type mouse. You should see a list of results come up, the top one being mouse. Click on it and the mouse properties window will open. In the tabs along the top, you're looking for the one furthest to the right called ELAN. Click on it and then click options. This will bring up the options for the touchpad. This is a way to configure how certain taps, gestures, and features work. Along the top of the window, you'll see a few tabs for one finger, multi-finger, and additional features. On the one finger tab, there are a few different things you can adjust. The first two mainly deal with what happens when you tap and click. Under tapping, one finger will always be used to click, but you can customize tapping with two fingers to do a number of things. For instance, I'll set mine to open the pop-up menu, which mimics right-clicking on the touchpad. Just select it and click apply, and now whenever I tap the touchpad with two fingers, it opens the pop-up menu. Clicking can be customized in the same way, choosing what you want the touchpad to do when you physically click with a certain number of fingers and in certain locations. By default, you can double tap the touchpad when over an icon and then hold and drag. When you lift your finger, the icon releases. You can change that to only release the icon after you tap the touchpad again, or even automatically, but after a certain delay. Edge scroll is off by default, but allows you to run your finger along the edges of the touchpad to scroll through windows and web pages. Under the multi-finger tab, you have zooming, which lets you zoom in and out with two fingers. With scrolling, you can use two fingers to scroll through windows and web pages. Rotation uses two fingers to rotate graphics and objects. Swipe page mimics page up and page down. You can use it to move between pages of a document, photos, presentations, or even back and forth between web pages. Swiping four fingers up and down returns you to the desktop. And then back to where you were previously if you swipe again. Under the additional tab, you have palm tracking, which keeps the touchpad from registering any input from your palm if it accidentally touches while typing. Sensitivity just allows you to change the sensitivity of the touchpad itself if you want to. Smart motion is off by default, but if you enable it, you can use it to keep the mouse cursor moving even when you've reached the edge of the touchpad. For example, if I drag this icon, reach the edge of the touchpad, and then just hold my finger there, the cursor will continue moving until I lift my finger. Slow motion lets you slow the cursor down while pressing the shift key, but it's another one that's off by default. Finally, the smart area disables any area in gray while typing. It only activates the rest of the touchpad when it detects input within the defined center area. You can adjust how large or small you want this area to be if you'd like to. And that's it for settings. Anytime you change something, make sure you click apply to save the changes. If you ever want to set everything back like it was at the start, just click set all to default. If you have any questions, please visit our website at support.acer.com.